Can ask me a question. Who is God? I'll tell you who God is. I'm gonna tell you something, brother. Tell you, I'll tell you something, my hip hop friend. My hip hop brother. Okay, he's running away. You know who God is? God is a God that speaks the truth. The Bible says Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. God is a God of love. The Bible says God is love. God is a God of mercy, but he's also a God of justice. And you know what? God is speaking to this generation the truth. And I need to correct some things in Toronto because you know what? Many of you have been led astray by the hip hop culture, led astray by rock and roll, led astray by the punk style. You're piercing your body, piercing your, you're, you're tattooing all your body, sleeping around before marriage. And you know where a lot of this has come from? The hip hop culture. You know, I have done most of that stuff too. And you know what? No, I'm not a hypocrite. It's called repentance. It's called coming here and taking the knowledge that I now have and bringing it to the truth, bringing it to the public. You know, all these people that ended up ended up making it big, and they and they still teach the people to do the same things. These people have messed their lives up, ended up getting how many people pregnant out of wedlock. They leave their women with their babies, and then they end up end up becoming addicts themselves on drugs, telling other people selling drugs to other people. They don't even repent. They end up getting rich, and then they tell the little kids to do the same thing. Smoking weed on all their videos. What is he, what is he talking about? Most you don't know what I'm talking about. Most rappers are businessmen now. They don't even have Okay, businessmen. So they, they Yeah, yeah, you know what they do? Yeah, yeah, they, they're, they're businessmen. They sell their soul to the devil. They end up doing everything just to make a buck. And they don't care about you. They don't care about you. Hey, listen, man. You Listen, you're buying gold fronts in your teeth when your teeth are supposed to be white. You fell into the hip hop. Why do you need gold fronts? Why do you, you need like those shoes, shoes, bro? Why do you need gold fronts? Why do you have to yeah. have yeah. shoes? Yeah. 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 You know, I can tell people how to live. I can tell people how to live. You can. You know, you can. Listen, You're every day. Our you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something, brother. Don't tell me no. You don't want to tell So you want to tell me, but I can't tell you. I'm not telling you anything. Come on, man. I'm going to tell you something that's true. This culture is telling you how to live every single day. You're the music you listen to is telling you how to live every single day. No, 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 no. Let me tell you the schools that you go to is telling you how to live every They're single day. They're telling you how, yeah, you're right. The schools are right. telling you how to live. But hip hop culture tells you how they live. They say, okay. I have gold teeth. Okay, so hip hop, okay. It's your, okay. it's your money so hip -hop, I follow. Okay, good, okay. I mean, I mean, I mean, let me work with you. So hip hop culture, tells you how someone else is living. But yet you see a whole generation of people dressing hip-hop, acting hip-hop, talking hip-hop, and, and memorizing all these songs, buying hip-hop, and they're living exactly ex what they what they talk about on, on their on their music. But and you're trying to tell me it doesn't influence people? It does influence people, but they're, they're lost. Because you have to... They're learn. lost. Like, let me, let me, let me, let they me are lost. Finish. Let me finish. They have to learn how to make their own decisions. I can watch TV, perceive something how I see it, and then I go and take it into my mind and translate it how I want. If a rapper has gold teeth, that's because he has a million dollars in his pocket. Not, he can afford it, I can. You see what I'm saying now? Everybody has to make their own decisions. I, I have white teeth, because oh, I like this, you see this, I like that. I, don't, I, 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 I can't afford gold teeth. I like how my teeth are right now. But he might like gold teeth. That's how he wants to live. You can't, you can't blame him. He still, he probably still feeds his family every day. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna respond to that. How many of you, are, I'm gonna do a survey right here, okay? How many of you know that music uh, icons, like people like Beyonce, people like P. Diddy, all of these guys, that they're examples for the next generation? Put up your hand if, if they are examples or they're icons to the next generation. There's one. You don't know that they're examples? I'm gonna put up your hand if you think that these people are setting an example for the next generation. Put up your hand, don't be shy. One, two, three, four. Okay, to an extent. Here, here's the truth. If these people are good role models for, okay, many of them are representing the black community, but hip hop is becoming diverse. Let's just use the black community. If many of these, if, if a lot of these hip hop artists are role models for the next generation, and any male figure within the black community that stands up, made it successfully, or became successful, and is standing up there preaching a message, whether in music or anything, becomes a role model for the next generation. That's just a fact. 
They are role models for the for the black community and for the rest of the people. What is the model that they're uh, setting an example for? Are they setting an example to fear God, to have morals, to have faith? You're not supposed to fear they're not supposed to fear. You're not supposed to fear God. So what are you supposed to fear? That's like fearing your father. So you don't fear God. You know the Bible says the beginning of wisdom is the fear of God. So, so let me tell you something. A role model is supposed to set an example for the next generation to live righteously, wisely, and godly. Now these hip-hop artists that I see on television, they have half-naked women dressing in their background, okay? Half-naked, you working their body in such a way that would turn any guy, want make any guy want to watch pornography, okay? That's number one. Number two, these guys are modeling the flesh, materialism, and they're encouraging the next generation to become materialistic. What do they do? They end up getting the nicest cars, the nicest rims, they gloat about their chains, their fronts, and they're like, yeah, I'm living at large, I'm living at large. And guess what that does? Guess what that does to the next generation? It makes the young people think, you know what? If I'm going to be accepted, if I'm going to be cool, I need to have a nice car, I need to have a nice rims, I need to have the fronts, I need to be in style. And you know, when I go to Jamaica, you know the sad thing is, all, a lot of the Jamaicans want to live American. They have to have the, the, the brand name shoes, the Clarks, all of these styles. And yet they're dirt poor. And you know why they're thinking like that? Because they... Okay, so am I, brother. And, and, and listen to me. They're dirt poor and yet they want to live like they're American living at large. You know why they want to live at large? It's because of the culture and the music is making you feel that... You, 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 so, so how do you want to live? So you said that we live like that, right? Would how do you want us to live that? We think it's the right way, then. Okay. Not to be nice. Don't you want to dress nice? Sure. I just want to. You know, people are stupid. Can you blame a king for dressing like a king, bro? You want to, like, you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to be swag, right? For what? For the bitches. You hear that? You hear that? That's hip hop slang for the B I T C H's. Where are you, you, you getting that? You want to look. Well, okay, look. Listen to Why what he said like very that? carefully. Why don't you wear a shawl? I look, and he said, I want to look swag. That's a hip hop term for the B I T C H's. That means that you're not. Yo, so, okay, so, it's a money bag. Way back Okay, in here, here's what I'm going to address you right now. First of all, he needs to look swag for the B-I-T-C-H's. I'm going to address you. Women aren't B-I-T-C-H's. No, no listen to me, brother. Women are not dogs. They are not B-I-T-C-H's. Women are people made in the image of God. They deserve respect. They deserve to be treated with respect and dignity. They are not B-I-T-C-H's. This is, this, is this is what we hear on hip-hop and rap music. We hear people talking about women being B-I-T-C-H's. Even people who are not in the hip-hop culture still call women bitches. It doesn't matter what you, it doesn't matter if you're hip-hop or not. There's people okay. on base let's, let's be honest. Let's, people on base let's be honest. Are you an honest person? Yes. Do you, do you hear, um, Heavy metal rock people calling uh, women bitches. Yeah. On, on, on. They, they tell you to yes, cut yourself. No, no, no listen, listen. I'm not yeah. talking about cutting yourself. I'm not talking about all that That's insanity. That's even more crazy than hip hop. Yeah, but be that. honest. Be honest with me, brother. I'm not. I'm not trying to lie. I personally be, don't listen to that music. I don't. I don't Who's the one who ends up calling women B I T C H is the most? A man who wants to call women. Hip hop. Everybody yeah. calls a woman a B I T C H. Not me. Where do you live, bro? I live right here, man. So women are supposed to be called. No, man. No. Like different like language. Okay, so we live in the 21st century, and women are now b bitches no, man, because you think that's proper language. It's how you're raised. It's how you're raised. I agree. It's how you're raised. But how many guys call you guys all call women b bitches? No, no. Is that is that the term to use? You guys, if, if that's the term to use, I must be an alien or something because you know what? I must be a big alien because women deserve respect and dignity, and that's coming from the Word of God. I'd rather I'd rather stand on the Word of God than your modern day culture that calls women bitch. What about the force as many dignity respect for that? Pardon? What about the girls that have porn stars with the dignity and respect for that? What about the women with what? Porn stars. Porn stars. With porn dignity stars. And respect for that. There's no dignity and respect in women no. showing off their bodies sleeping around with men in a porno. But they women, do that. Yeah, those are what men. women want to be. That's their choice. Yeah, you can say something. Uh, like, first of all, like, to go back to your other point, you said how 
Uh, they uh, uh, they uh, fight. Uh, bitches, uh, uh, I don't think that this should teach a fear god. I think it should be And also, like, you're going on and saying, and I can think, like, I totally got where you're coming from. Like, in Hearts in the Right Place, where you're saying how there are role models that are teaching, uh, for example, like how women are B-I-T-C-H's, as you said, or there are people dancing half naked or whatever. Okay, to a certain, like, there is stuff like that in the, like, mainstream media. But at the same time, for example, I'm standing over here, like, there's so many ads or whatever, but there are still also socially conscious artists and things like that, and we all have access to that, and I have access to that, I listen to that. Okay, so I'm not blaming uh, certain role models, like P. Diddy or Beyonce or whatever. Can't blame for be I can't blame them, because can't. I have access to other things that are more conscious or whatever. It's a personal it, choice. People have, uh, if they want to listen to that, they have the choice to. Just for example, like, for example, there's an artist named, like, Immortal Technique. I have, like, the per like I, if I want to listen to that, I can too. Just how everyone here, they have access to, like, the internet, whatever. If they want to get into that socially conscious stuff, they don't want to live that lifestyle. They're open to do that. Like, for example, I do that. And there are people that they want to listen to P. Diddy, they want to listen to Last Train of Paris or whatever. They can have fun and do that. Like, okay, I'm going to answer your question very quickly. You are right. We live in a free country. We can do whatever we want. We have so much choices. But guess what? Most of the world, okay, I'm going to start biblically. Most of the world is going to take the wide road. They're going to fall into the trap of materialism. They're going to fall into the trap of selfish uh, behavior. They're going to fall into the trap of uh, fleshly desires instead of love and concern for the poor. Most of, I'm surprised that most of you actually stopped and listened. Maybe because it was something I was saying that struck a nerve. I don't know. But you know, I stand here every weekend and I preach, and you know, most of the people walk on by, they end up going shopping, going to the movies. Most of you probably don't even pray. Most of you probably don't even read your Bible. Most of you probably, see, most of you would swear and think it's okay. Most of you call, most of you would probably call women B-I-T-C-H's. I have a problem with what he just said here. I do. Okay, okay, one. <laughs> Can I say something? I mean, I brother, swear. it doesn't matter what the consensus is. The truth is, is that swearing is wrong. If you don't know that, you need some education, brother. You said something about Diddy and everybody that that is in the limelight. What about the people like thought who did preach those things? Where are they now? The people that preach these things? No, that preach the positive. You know what? You know what happens with the people that preach the positive? They end up being criticized by people like him. Or killed. By or or killed. But, but, but you know what? Here, here's the truth. When, when someone preaches the positive, it sounds so different, so weird, so archaic, so un-21st century, that you guys are like, they always, every century they try to kill the prophets. Every century, they try, they kill Jesus, they kill people like Martin Luther King, they, they kill Mahatma Gandhi. Every time someone preaches the truth, it sounds so weird. You know why? Because most of you have bought into the lie of this system. Okay, so what? So, so no, here's no, no, what I'm saying. On, Wait, hold on. No, 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 okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So what about someone that preaches, that wants to preach the truth but doesn't want to get killed? Don't they have to decode that? Don't they have to? You know what? If if, if if you're gonna be true to what you believe, you will be killed eventually. You will be killed. If you're gonna preach the truth, you're going against. You're going against. No, no, no. You know what? You know what? The truth lives on in those who embrace the truth and those who live for the truth and spread the truth, which is what Jesus said. Jesus said, whoever comes after me must deny himself, pick up his cross daily and follow me, which means follow him. Follow him. Why am I following another man? You know why? Because you don't even know who Jesus Christ is, which I'll deal with no, in a second. I went to Catholic school. I don't care I whether you went to Catholic, Catholic school. You, you could be going to hell if you, you go to a Catholic. No, no. What, what I'm trying to say, what, what does going to Catholic, Catholic, Catholic school have to do with do with whether you're going to heaven or hell? I'm taking in what you're saying because Catholic school, Muslim school, Christian school doesn't make you a a, a, a believer. It doesn't make you a follower of Christ. It doesn't even say you're going to heaven. You can be going to church every week and going to hell. The truth is, what you need to do is pick up your cross daily and follow Him. You have to. It's a symbol of death. Yeah. No, it is a symbol of death. So you I'm need gonna, to deny. You need I'm to. I'm gonna put that thought of death in my mind every time you I know, wake up in the morning. Let me, I'm gonna answer your question if you're gonna listen. What you need to do is deny these selfish behaviors in yourself. Deny this material Wait, desire that's Wait, okay, sitting in your mind. Die. Deny all of those things die. that you hear on the hip hop culture, looking for big rims, and live in a modest way. Live for people. Live in love. Live. Opposite towards the things that you see in this culture. But, you see all of this? This is all there to make you an addict. Of course. But, are you willing to give it up? 
No, you're not listening to shit. Like I said before, there was patterns. Of course you're supposed to live with love, but you're supposed to enjoy life George as well. College, enjoy the fruits of life that are here. God, God still put all this. God still put all these things here. Of course I want to drive a fucking. Sorry. Of course I want to drive a van. <laughs> Why are you sorry? Because I swore. Do you know it's wrong? I think it's wrong in the demographic that I say it. There's a place to say things. Of course I. I'm not gonna stop swearing because you said stop. Swearing. You should stop swearing because of God. God. I feel like I'm God sometimes. Okay, well, here we go. We got God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, right here. Please, please. Right here, right here. Show, right here. You can't say a God. Please. Everybody can't here is God. You can't go we got, the, we, you see, you know where you get that philosophy, man? I mean, I grew up in the hip hop culture. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, brother. I grew up in the hip hop culture, and you know what? I know where this whole idea of we are all gods came from. From this hip hop culture spreading this thing that we are all gods, man. And a fifth percenter idea, and this, this nation of Islam stuff, and all this kind of. Garbage, garbage stuff that says everybody's God, but the truth is you're not God. You're a human being. You're gonna die in the grave. Of course. You end up getting sick. I still have a soul. And guess what? You have a soul, and somebody brought that soul into existence, and that is the true and the living God. And it ain't you. Doesn't it say that we are made in the image of God? You are made in the image of God, and who created you? God. You are not God. You are made in His image, and God is God. But that soul, that's you are a soul created by God. And you're going to go back to God and you're going to be judged by God one day. And God is going to open the books of your life. And every curse word that you curse, every thought that you think, every action that you do is going to be revealed. And you're going to be judged accordingly. And you're going to go to either heaven or hell. And the Bible says unless you accept Jesus Christ and who died for your sins, you're not going to have a chance to stand before God and go to heaven. You're going to go straight to hell. And God is offering you forgiveness today. And what he's saying to you is this. You must be born again. You must... Be willing to give up all of this stuff, all these desires of yours that's causing this world to fight each other over greed. Look at these wars going on in Iraq and Afghanistan. What's that about? It's about selfish gain. It's about it's about greed. It's, it's about okay. All they want is fucking the oil. I'm telling you, I'm gonna say fucking because all they want is the oil. I'm telling you right now. So what is what makes the what makes the oil F U C E C K? Because all they that's all they want, man. That's all they want. Okay, fine. They all they want. Is the oil. Okay, they want the oil and they want a lot of things like that. Hey, hey brother, take one of my, take hey, take one of my tracks here and uh, keep in keep in contact with me, brother. I got a YouTube channel. Um, I want you to I want you to yeah. If, you, if anybody no, I don't pay for that channel. It's free. You can you can have anything there. Listen, guys, what I'm trying to tell you is the truth. It doesn't sound right, but if you just look around you, man, I mean, this culture is trying to brainwash you into thinking that you come from monkeys. What are they doing in the school? They're teaching you that you come from monkeys, you've evolved out of some kind of some uh, metamorphic mor morphical soup, some kind of swamp, and you somehow came out and, and all of a sudden, poof, and you the, the monkey turned into a human being, and all of a sudden, you know, and they're teaching you that homosexuality is the way to live. They're teaching little kids that they have a choice, that even though they were born a woman, they could be a man. Even if they were born a man, it's very possible they could be a woman. This is what they're teaching in the schools. They're going opposite to what is the truth. The truth is that none of you could come into being except you had a mother and a father. Whether sperm, sperm had to touch the egg. That's male and female coming together. What makes you think in this modern generation, we're so wise and smart that two women can somehow bring forth uh, babies? The sign yeah, they that they God... one from someone else who don't want one. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? It's, wrong it's, with called, that? it's oh. called perversion. It's called, they give that it's called that when two women are having sex with each other, it's perversion. And you know what? There's and when two men... That men are much more likely to beat the fuck out of a kid. Now, what's wrong with two women? Hey, hey listen. What? I'm against abuse. And I'm against two women being together, and I'm against two men being together. Oh, I'm sorry, you know what? I had some respect for you about five minutes ago, but that argument you just brought up now, I am not listening to a goddamn word. You hey, it's a free country. You can walk by. I don't know why you're standing here if you don't want to listen. Why, why are you listen. blasting it all over the place then? Brother, it's called a sidewalk, man. It's called freedom of speech. If you don't want to be here, it's called Sears is right there. The movies are over there. You can walk on by, brother. You keep talking about love and Listen, love I'm going to tell you something that's true. Okay, here, here's what it is. The moment I say that homosexuality is a perversion, all of a sudden I don't love people. You know, I'm gonna tell you something. If, 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 a, if a male uh, uh, touches a child and I say that's wrong, is that, is that called? No, that is wrong. It's wrong now. It is wrong. Okay, okay, good. 
Okay, good. Now, now uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna point something out here. If it's wrong. What, what is it? What, why do you think it's wrong? Is it because... Because a child doesn't understand oh, doesn't things. understand. Okay, good. Now you are... Okay, fine, fine. We're going to work with you. So, pedophilia is wrong. So, yeah. if I speak out against something that is wrong, that doesn't make me a hater, does it? No, no. It make, it actually makes me a lover because I care for the, 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 it makes the adults. It makes me a man with an opinion who wants to share It makes me a people. man with an opinion that cares both about the adult and both about the child. So, the moment I say that homosexuality is wrong, all of a sudden, I'm a hater? It's two people that are old enough to make their own decisions. Two people that, okay. So if I make a decision to go and, and uh, uh, cheat on my wife, does that make me, uh, and, and I say that adultery is wrong, does that make me a hater? No, it makes you a bad person. It makes me a bad person for cheating, right? Yeah. Why? But what if it's two consensual people making the choice? What makes, me, what makes it wrong? It's loyalty. It's, it's loyalty. Yeah, like... No, you have some well, I, values. I, I, I give you I that. I, I give you. You have you don't some know, values. Like, you, you keep telling me you gesture towards me. Yo, this guy over here, the fucking anarchy. Shit. You don't know me at all. I don't know you. I never said I knew you. Yo, then more you're the one who said you don't have respect for me, and you said you, why you're not listening anymore. Yet you are. I don't know why you're still here. I'm addressing something that you wanna you wanna hear because you're here. I'm telling you something. If somebody commits adultery, it's wrong. And if I say it's wrong, that doesn't make me a hater. If I say homosexuality is wrong, that doesn't so make please, me a hater. I'm going to tell you please, something. Please, please, continue on the comparing pedophilia okay. to oh, homosexuality. Okay, I'm going to... I want to hear about Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to compare right now. Can, I, can somebody... Who has my tracks? I, I, I have a... Oh, I have some tracks. Who has my uh, tracks? Is it going around here? The ones that, that talk about homosexuality. Oh, right there. Here, I'm gonna give you one of these. Anybody that wants a copy of what I think, take one of these, pass it around. Here's what I'm gonna say about homosexuality. I'm gonna read exactly what I wrote. Hold on, hold on, let me just read. This is what I wrote, this is my writing. God loves and continues to love the homosexual, the lesbian, the transvestite, the bisexual, the heterosexual, the premarital sexual, the solo sexual, which is the masturbator, the extramarital affair sexual. Everyone masturbates. God loves the sex offenders. God loves the peeping Tom and the peeping Tammy. God loves the pedophiles. God loves the orgy sexual. God loves the cel celibate sexual. This is what I wrote. So I'm not a hater. But how much does God love these people? He loves them enough that he gave Jesus to die for them. But this is what God expects of anybody that's sexual. He says here, God is calling everybody to deny themselves and follow Jesus. And the question that I have for you is, will you give up your lifestyle and your desires and your feelings for Jesus and eternal life? I don't care what kind of sexuality you want to have, but the truth is, God made males for females. And it's not because... I mean, if God wanted two men to be together, he wouldn't have made a female. Let's just put it, it If God wanted it that way, he would have made women with the ability to, to do the same thing a man can do. But he did it. Why is it like that? I don't know, but that's nature. God made nature a certain way. It's not about hating people. Now, people have real desires, real feelings. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not undermining their feelings, okay? When I was young, I used to have feelings to sleep around with every woman I see. Okay, did that make me right? No, it made me a lustful pervert. So, just because you, someone has feelings, it doesn't mean that these feelings need to be justified because somebody has them. There's some guys that think it's right, and they're fighting the courts today to have many wives, which is a polygamy, and some people are saying that it's okay to have sex with underage people which are 16 years old and some people make the argument say well, after 12 years old they have their mind and it's okay to have uh, sex with 16 year olds even though I'm 50 years old the rest of society would say it's perversion but these guys in their mind they have real feelings towards kids I don't know if they're obsessed with purity or something like that I don't know what it is people have real feelings homosexuals have real feelings men with men women with women and it and it's gonna be real but it doesn't mean their feelings are right it simply means that whatever happened, whatever their thoughts are, I don't know what they are, but God can transform the heart. God can give new feelings if we surrender it all to Jesus Christ because God made males for females from the beginning. And God loves everybody. You'll have to take in what they have been through before in their lives. 
You know that, eh? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, okay, so you never know what that beat proved before when they were young. So I, I'm like, against them, I'm against them, but like, you never oh, know Don't be against I'm them. I'm against them, I don't care about them, but like, listen. Well, you should care about them. Okay, I'm saying that <laughs> you have to take in what they have been through in their lives. Yeah. I, no, I agree. But I'm against them still. But like, don't be but against I'm people. Against, I'm against homosexual, that's what I'm trying to say. You mean the lifestyle, not the person. You shouldn't. I'm against them. Why okay. They're homosexual. Okay, listen, listen. I'm gonna correct you. Now here. you sound uneducated. Okay. Like, I'm gonna I'm gonna correct you. Here, your opinion, please. Listen, listen. I'm gonna tell you something. Don't hate anybody because of whatever they do. Like, look, I I I have I have I, I know lesbians. I know homosexuals. I sit down, have coffee with them. I would be the first person that give my clothes for anybody. I'm not judging it. I, I sit down with with thieves, with with people that have done some really bad things, adulterers, all sorts of people. I myself was was in West Detention Center for stealing cars many times when I was a kid. I myself done many horrible things, so I'm not anybody to judge somebody. I'm not judging somebody like that. All I'm saying is that we're human beings, and the goal of humanity is, is to start to get to know God and to start to do what's right, no matter where you're coming from. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. God loves everybody. And I would sit down with a homosexual. I don't hate, and I want to correct you, brother. Don't hate I, nobody. I, don't I, hate I, the I homosexual. Them, but I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like, I don't really, I don't like them. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Well, I, okay. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Well, listen, listen, listen. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to correct you on something. God, if God were to look at you the way you really deserve with all your cursing language and all your lust that you're doing, whatever you're doing in the background, God doesn't want to be around you either. Yeah. yeah. But you don't follow the rules, though. No, no, here's what I'm saying. The Bible says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. I, I fall short of God's glory. I don't deserve... Why are you talking about the Bible? What about the Quran? What about you want to talk about the Quran? I can talk about that. I'm talking about the conversation that I'm in right now. But if you want to have another conversation, I can start another conversation. But let me, let me clear this conversation up about the homosexual. Now, brother, listen. God is looking at all of us in mercy and he's saying this to everybody. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And the reason why God had to reach out to us is because we're sinners. We can't reach out to God. We can't earn our way to heaven. Any religion that says that you can earn your way to God, that if I just do this and do that, I take Holy Communion, I pray five times a day, I wear hijab, I wear beard, and somehow I deserve to go to heaven. You're lying to yourself because the only thing that can get you to heaven is God's mercy because all of us have failed. The homosexual has failed. The lustful guy has failed. You have failed. I have failed. And you know what? The only way we can get to God is if God forgives us and God is offering forgiveness to each of us if we accept Jesus Christ because Jesus died on the cross for each of our sins. So that is what can get us to heaven, is God's mercy. I'm, I think we answered that. You, you, can, you can be gay. Look, 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 man, you can do whatever you want to do. But, are you a virgin then? No, I'm not a virgin. Are you married? Yes, I am. But did you fuck a girl before you? I, yes, I had sex with a girl before. And why do you have to swear, brother? We have, a, we have our rights. It's the you have your week. rights. You can do whatever you want, man. Let's see how far that gets you, bro. But you know what? You, you, you know what? Listen, homosexuality is a lifestyle that you can choose. You can choose to sleep around with women. You can choose to get HIV. You can choose to do whatever you want to do. But the truth is, is that certain lifestyles will send you to hell. Certain lifestyles will send you to hell. You want to keep getting drunk all the time? You want to keep sleeping around? You want to keep doing your dope? You want to keep watching your pornos? You want to keep doing that? You're going to go straight to hell. You don't go to hell for that, I'm Muslim and I try to be a Muslim. I'm not saying that, oh, I don't do bad things. But I still do pray at holy days. Like on Friday, I still pray. I do bad things. I want to do the bad things. Okay, do you know? Okay. Have you, have you ever oh, what, one second. Yeah, I masturbated. Right, I used so to masturbate like three times a day. You want to know my business? <laughs> Pardon? There's such thing as called repentance, brother. And, and guess what? I'm going to show you guys what repentance means. Repentance means if I'm going to masturbate, if I'm sleeping around, if I'm stealing, if I'm doing drugs, does that look like you? If I'm a homosexual, is that you? Okay, this is what repentance means.
turning around and going the other way. That's what repentance means. And so Jesus is saying, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. It is here. It is now. And F this shit. You see, you see, we got the hip hop culture coming back in your lips again. You see, we, we talked about hip hop again and the influence it has on children. And we got this cool swag that's going around, pants all down, wearing the, the big buckle pants and all that stuff, thinking you're all so cool. What's wrong with that? You know what's wrong with that? You're drawing attention to your to your waistline so that women can have sex with you. And you know what? Let me tell you something. God is saying to you to give glory to God. So not to I yourself. I don't care about your belt buckle. Okay, but the so don't say but the, no, I will say something because the truth is, are you living for God or not? Yes. You are living for God. No, you you surrendered your heart no, you to God. You haven't surrendered to, to God, but yet you're living for God. You don't follow the rules. He doesn't follow the rules to God, but yet he surrendered. He's serving God. You see, this, our culture is mixed up. We think going to church somehow gets me to heaven. We think being baptized as a baby sometimes gets us to heaven. We think that calling yourself a Muslim somehow gets you to heaven. You think God is concerned with your Muslim title? You think God... Pardon? You think God is concerned by you calling yourself a Muslim? You think that's going to get you to heaven? I'm a Muslim, I'm a Muslim. You think calling yourself a Catholic is... I'm a Catholic, I'm going to heaven now. I was baptized as a baby, confirmed when I was in grade 8. You think you're going to heaven like that? That means nothing in God's eyes. You think you took Holy Communion on Sunday? Somehow you're going to heaven? You know what my point is? You need to be born again of the Spirit of God. And unless you surrender your heart, surrender your mind, and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you ain't going anywhere. Why not Prophet Muhammad? Why are you talking so much shit now? Why am I, why do you have to swear now? <laughs> okay, why are you talking so much poo now? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you what poo is. Poo is anything that is di uh, uh, not glorifying God. And if you're not living for God, you're living in that every day. But God is calling you because He loves you and He cares about your life. And if you would give your heart to Him. Okay, look, here's what I'm going to tell you again. I'm going, to, I'm going to clear up exactly what I'm saying, and I'm going to share what is called as the Injil or the Gospel. This is what the Gospel is. I'm going to talk about what God says. You want to know what God says? Okay, these guys are dipping. Another hip-hop term. They want to dip into sin. <laughs> dip into Satan. Keep dipping. Keep dipping. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to dip in tonight? Dip into your lust? Dip into your... Your profanity, dip into your hip hop. Is that? I I do. That's why I'm here. You have better words to say except S H I T. Is that is that all you can say, bro? You need to you need to read a dictionary or a book. To spend some time reading, doing your homework, going to school. I am right. Thank you. So, brother, listen. Hey, no, 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 listen, look, you had a choice to come back, man, I, I was just making a comment of what I thought, because I'm, I'm here making comments, that's what I'm here for, I have a microphone, I'm making comments, 